Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice square problem? Solution from here. From what we have here, let's use two methods. The first method from here, we can rewrite what we have, and this becomes root 7 times 10 plus root 10 divided by. Also, here we have root 7 times 10 minus root 10. Then from here, this follows when we have root a times b, which we can write as root a times root b. That is, also we separate this and we have root 7 times root 10 over that's plus root 10 here first, then divided by also here we have root 7 times root 10 minus root 10 here. That is, here we have root 10 coming up here. We will factor it out. This becomes root 10 into bracket. Here we have root 7 plus 1 left here. Then divided by also root 10 common here. We have root 10 into bracket also we are left with 7 the minus 1 here that is here we have root 10 cancel each other and we have becomes root 7 plus 1 over root 7 minus 1 then next step here we rationalize this sort and multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. I just multiply this by the conjugate of the and the conjugate of the is root 7 plus 1. Also multiply this by the same conjugate, which is root 7 plus 1. That is, here we have same thing multiplying. It follows when we have a times a. That's same thing as a squared. That is, we can write this as root 7 plus 1 or squared divided by here yeah, this follows when we have a minus b into brackets open bracket a plus b which same thing as a square minus b square difference of two squares now this here a standing as the 7 we have a 7 square minus 1 as b that's 1 square then the expansion up here follows when we have a plus b or square which one we expand we have a square plus b square plus 2ab that is here this gives us root 7 square plus 1 square plus 2 times root 7 times 1 then divided by yeah square cancel kind of square root we have 7 then minus 1 square does 1 then yeah, also square cancel kind of square root. We have seven plus one square that's one minus two times root seven times one. Sorry, that's plus. That gives us plus two root seven. Then over seven minus one that gives us six. That is. Then yeah, we have seven plus one that's eight and plus two root seven over six. And here 2 is common up. We factor it out and this becomes 2 into brackets. What is left here? We have 4, then plus root 7 left here, then over 6. And this here, 2 here 1 and 2 here 3. And what we have remain 4 plus root 7 over 3, which is the same thing with which is the simplified form of this given problem. Okay? Now Let's look at the second method. From here, we rationalize this directly. That is, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. That is, we have root 70 plus root 10 multiplied by the conjugates of the denominator. That is also root 70 plus root 10. Then divided by 
Also multiply this by the conjugate. That's root 70 minus root 10. Multiply by root 70 plus root 10. Watch this video to the end. Then, yeah. Also same thing multiplying. When we have a times a, that's a square. And we can express this as root 70 plus root 10 all square divided by here also we have this follows from a minus b times a plus b which is same thing as a square minus b square and here a is root 70 and we have root 70 square minus b root 10 that's root 10 square and this also follows when we have a plus b all square which is the same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab. That is, yeah, we have root 70 square plus root 10 square plus 2 times root 70 times root 10. Then divided by square times the square root, we have 70 minus same thing here, we have 10. That is also here we have square cancel square root that's 70 plus also square cancel square root that's 10 then plus here we can reverse this from where we have root a times root b which we can bring together as root a times b and here it becomes 2 times root 70 times 10 all over 70 minus 10 we have 60 then here we have 70 plus 10 that's 80 plus 2 multiplied by square root of here we can express 70 as 7 times 10 10 times 10 over 60 here that is here when we have root a times a this is same thing as a with 10 times 10 here that's 10 we take it out I remain with 7, that is we have 80 plus 2 times 10, 10 times root 7 over 60, which same thing as 80 plus 2 times 10, that's 20, then root 7 over 60 here. That is, yeah, 20 is common, and we have 20 into bracket, 4 left here, and plus root 7, plus bracket, over 60 here. And here we have 21 and 23. Then what we have becomes 4 plus root 7 over 3. With the same thing we told you in the first method. Therefore, the conclude that a simplified form of this given problem is 4 plus root 7 over 3. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell and share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.